hello and thanks for tuning into my channel if you're new here welcome if you're a returning subscriber hey y'all so yes y'all it's one of these one-handed videos okay and it's because i didn't have time to set up anything and i just wanted to record this mess that amazon sent me i have been collecting these for a while the wet and wild collaborations okay but when i saw this one outside my house today i was like what in the entire world was the associate at Amazon who was in charge of shipping to shipping this to me thinking like what was you thinking like just <laughs> okay let me just let me just do so I curse and I really don't want to curse because I'm trying not to curse I'm trying to get myself together okay but this made me want to curse when I saw what they did so let's go ahead and get into this because there was already not a lot of buzz about the collection so i was kind of mad i missed it because i have so many accounts that i follow on instagram that i didn't really get to see wet and wow coming up here lately plus i wasn't really on the gram a lot in the last month because i've been going through my own little emotions this is my dad's one year death anniversary so i was just really in a shell but anywho let me flip this box over y'all because we almost two minutes in and i ain't even showed y'all what the problem is and i'm in my my Ugh, can't get it out i am in my most ratchetest voice today because what they did was the most ratchetest thing i've ever seen so let me flip this over and show y'all how they sent this box to me baby when i came home just this box <laughs> with this nasty label of course i took my little address out and this little nasty yellow sticker was on here like why for the love of christ would you think it was okay to put a shipping label on the actual product and just ship it. Like, why would you do that? Like, clearly it's a collection. Marilyn and Monroe is dead and gone. So why would you do that? However, this is cute. I will say, once I open it up a little further, I was a little disappointed again. And I'm gonna say that because I have a lot of wet and wild collections and I've seen them do the the most with these this one wasn't the most okay but after a, i sat back and i talked to the amazon associate and they said they would mail me another one and they would wrap it i was like okay cool and the one thing that stuck out the most that i will always remember about her is baby them red lips and them nails makeup look you know it just looks like she has on a little bit like she's polished but she's not all glammed up i mean for the most part i haven't really recall where she's just like extremely glammed it was always that kind of look like you know little is best i'm that broad you know and just give me that red lipstick and i'm about to rock it so when i opened up this package <laughs> i was a little disappointed initially initially i was disappointed and then after i started like thinking about marilyn monroe and how she was and how she wore her makeup i was a little okay with it because she didn't have a lot of makeup on you know it was always subtle but the red lips was gonna pop so this is what comes with it you get a hairband like i needed any more of these but hey we can never have too many right <laughs> and this one is really pretty oh and mind y'all some of my stuff was like all over everywhere when i opened the box because they just shipped the box so anywho you get just these little neutral colors um let me fix my camera there we go so y'all see my pressed on flaws now <laughs> let me blur it back out oh it won't blur <laughs> anywho so this is the four Wait, one, two, three, four, five. Mm, can't count. It's five eyeshadows in here. And it it will give you one of those nice, subtle, I don't have on a lot of makeup, but I put a little effort in today looks. Which, after I thought about it, I was like, oh, okay, you know, maybe. But, you know, we're used to the, like, the 16 colors or whatever, which I feel like they could have did a lot of earth tones and just gave you a 16 palette with a lot of earth tones to give you those natural looks but i'm no makeup guru okay i just wear what works for me and i'm just gonna say for almost a hundred dollars 
they could have gave you a little more shadows. Um, this is a plain brush. It could have had the flowers on it. It doesn't. I think this palette was close to 80 bucks. Um, you have it on here, which this is your, um, oh Lord, I can't even think straight. Let me get it together. Let me get it. Your eyeliner. I love the little flowers on here. It's cute. Okay. So then we have some clear mascara, which I had already bought some of this from the Dollar Tree. You know, the clear mascara. This, you can get these brushes from the Dollar Tree. You can get some Wet n Wild products from the Dollar Tree, but this was a 70 some dollar set. And that's why I was a little disappointed because I'm like, where? Don't get me wrong. I know she did not do a lot. You know, she didn't have that extra glam face on. But you could have gave me some more eyeshadows to make some more natural looks other than five. And I don't even know if this these five are going to work with all skin tones. Which, of course, Marilyn Monroe was a Caucasian woman. But you guys are a big makeup brand. And it should be to appease every woman of every color, of every ethnicity, right? So you should have added 16 shades, okay? A little more earth tones, some oranges, some light oranges, some peaches, something. But anyhow, maybe I'm just mad about my package and the way it was delivered. Let's keep going. So you have this mascara. Oh, Amazon said they're going to send me out another packet wrapped this is cute let's see the brush all right this is the brush and this brush reminds me of i don't know if it's like a l'oreal i have so many mascaras why won't it focus on this brush y'all let me see oh it just okay there we go looks like it might catch all the little hairs all right let me put that back now this brush though, this is cute, okay? This is beautiful. The other brush should have been just like this. You know, you should have had a blush brush, an eyeshadow brush, all the brushes should have been like this for $72. Every last brush. Anyway. Then we have this, <laughs> what is this? I can't see, oh. Clarifying finishing powder, and it's in this shade of white. I mean, I've never used this type of powder. I've never used a finishing powder, so hmm, I'll try it one day. It's translucent. Okay, that is in the bottom. Now let's go to the top. These little uh, sponges, or whatever these are, powder brushes are cute but i mean i would have thought i, I would have personally like some more shadows rather than these little cute things because when they get dirty like how we gonna wash them i would never use them but still let's keep moving so you have a foundation powder um not a foundation a powder brush a powder pad <laughs> so like into if you're sweating you can you know just dab and dab you get three of those. Why we need three, I don't know. But they gave you three. And my camera keeps going in and out of focus. I'm sorry, y'all. So then you have this blush, which is hmm, it's cute. This will work on my complexion. And then you have a highlighter, which will definitely work with my complexion. My hands are dark, but my face is light, so this you see, I'm kind of light. <laughs> and don't mind my flow. I ain't back in the day, but I had to do this video. Anywho, I'm sure some of y'all floors ain't vacuumed either. But whatever, this ain't about that. Let's keep going on, Marilyn. So, this highlighter is really cute. Um, this is one I would like to probably use under my brow for my brow bone. Under my brow. Yeah, under my eyebrows. I said that right. <laughs> under my eyebrows. But that little highlight under your eyebrow on top of that brow bone. I think this would be cute 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 so yes i personally can use these but i don't know if anyone darker than me can 
Don't mind my scar, y'all. I think the kitty scratched me. I'm not sure where that scar came from. And then you have that red. It's so pretty. Let's see. Let me try it out. So before we go on, I put the shimmers on my wrist. Y'all don't mind my little bracelet. One of my students made this for me. It says besties. So cute. So the top is the, they're in order. The bottom is, of course, the darker. The middle, let me see if I can really get it to. So they're really nice, you know, but Wet n Wild don't come to play when it comes to these um, highlighters. All right, so we have those one more time. That peach, that bottom one, oh my God, I love it. I'll probably put that on my eyes just to wear. <laughs> Anywho, now let's get into these lips, baby. And I have done them on this hand. So at the bottom, we have the balm, the brown pencil, the lipstick, the white eyeliner, the red lip liner, baby. That red lip liner is gonna be my best friend. I thought I liked Ruby Roo, but yeah, mm. <laughs> she is giving her a run for the money this red lip liner alone is giving ruby woo a run for her money in my opinion when it comes to my skin tone and then the last red is just the lip gloss so these are the swatches oh i'm sorry i'm one handy remember so here's a far away beautiful i love that lip gloss too I love Wet n Wild lip glosses, though. I will say that. Um, I've always liked Wet n Wild. Wet n Wild was one of the first makeups I ever bought. We used to get it from Walgreens or CVS, and it was like 99 cent for the pencil or maybe like a dollar or two for the lipsticks. And the eyeliners were like 99 cent. So, yeah. This is that set. Um, and then this is... What is this, y'all? Let's see. Focus, camera, focus. Translucent powder in a darker tone. Darker tone in a <laughs> different color. So we had that finishing powder and then this. And I think this packaging is so cute. You know what this reminds me of with the flowers? MAC, when they came out with that collection, I forgot what it was called, but it had the flowers on it. Ooh, I bought all those too. Them little lipstick containers were so cute. What year was that? 2019? 20, 2019, I want to say. Yes. 2018, 2019, baby. These was... That MAC set was cute. And this reminds me of that with these flowers a little. But y'all, this is the Marilyn Monroe set. <laughs> so pretty. Um, Now that my anger has went away. And I've actually tried these okay 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 75 dollars nah not worth it but it is maryland so i understand but they could have sold this for a good 45 50 max and 50 would have been pushing it but you know sometimes we buy stuff that ain't worth it because i know i do all the time like those louis vuitton bags i be buying that don't be worth it because it's the same quality as them 200 dollars coach bags but we pay triple the amount <laughs> <laughs> but anywho thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed seeing this collection i am gonna actually use this one this probably get used before any of my other ones get used the only other collection i ever used like on a daily was stitch because y'all know i love stitch but anywho thank you so much for watching bye y'all oh these are so cute i cannot wait to wear this like i cannot wait even that bomb is the bomb. Okay, y'all. Bye.